Hello and welcome to another video. As usual, this is the Inquisitive Universe and my name as always is Jeffrey. I will be your host. All right, so I, I did a video recently about the effect of poor network on your smartphones. And I felt that it was very needed that I follow it up with a video talking about how you would know if you've got good signal or bad signal if you've got good network or bad network. Remember, I said, if you've not seen that video before, please, I would encourage you to actually take a look at it probably after this one. Yeah, but I would encourage you that you do so. Please do so. And I said that most of the time, we we'll usually get it wrong. The actual correct term is signal, not necessarily network. But that's what we're used to, so that's why I use it. But it's mostly signal. So. In today's video, I want to talk about how you would know if you've got good signal or if you've got bad signal strength. Yeah, so that's just what it is. Now, when we talk about signal strength, signal strength refers to how good your connection is. Is your connection fast? Can you download stuff quickly? Or are you struggling to read WhatsApp messages? It depends. It depends on what it is. So yeah, that's mostly what signal strength is. So when your signal strength is good, you find out that you do stuff easily on your phone. You send messages and receive them. You send pictures, you send mails, you browse the web, you play online games very easily. But when your signal strength is bad, you can't, in fact, your phone becomes basically useless to you because most things are online now and you've got to go online. And if you cannot go online, then most of the time your phone is useless in your hands. I think I've seen most people say that, oh, mom, I don't have data. My phone is just useless kind of that's mostly how it happens and sadly this is the truth so how do you know because sometimes sometimes like some of these things can be very very subjective that is i mean people just have their own impression of how things are that's what we mean say subjective subjective is like somebody having their own point of view objective is something that is factually true for everybody so sometimes people can be subjective about network and they'll be like oh my network is poor and somebody else be like, I don't know, my network is decent and okay. And then, you know, like, ah, my network is bad. And you know, kind of like people could be having these arguments between themselves. So there has to be a way of objectively checking if network is good or bad. We see that if signal strength is good or bad without having to resort to unnecessary arguments. And thankfully, thankfully, you have the tools to check this on your phone. And no, it is not the network bar. Those signal, those like lines on the network bars, those bars there, just there to give you a rough representation, but generally speaking, they are not that they're not an accurate representation of anything most of the time. So the only time they're actually good is when they show you an X showing you that there's no signal at all and then when they're there showing that there's signal mostly. But they fluctuate up and down. They don't really have any, you know, let's just leave that aside. The tools for checking this are deeply rooted on your Android smartphone. They used to be on iPhones, but before making this video, I actually did some serious research. I checked an iPhone 12 Pro Max, I checked an iPhone 11, and I checked an iPhone 13, and I checked an iPhone 14 as well. And the tools for checking signal strength are all but gone. I couldn't find it no matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried. So I am going to stick. And if you've got a method for checking signal strength on Android, please reach me in the comments or on Telegram. Please reach me. I would very much appreciate that. But on Android, it's actually very simple. They are hidden deep in your settings. If you know how to check for it, it's very easy. The first thing you want to do is go to your settings and then go to about phone. That's simple. When you get to about phone, check for details or check for phone status and then check SIM card. It's very easy, you'd find it there. Now you're going to see a bunch of numbers with a DBM and an ASU. DBM, that's decibel per mil, and an ASU. So those numbers then mean something, and I'm going to break them down for you. Depending on the network that you use, whether it's 3G, whether it's 4G, whether it's 5G, they have different meanings. And so I've got a list on my lap here, I think a, uh, an infographic is supposed to appear on the screen. I hope it does. If I'm the one editing it, then it's going to appear on the screen. So you'd see what it means. Now, if you are on a 3G network, if you're on a 3G network and then you go check your settings and you're checking for the signal, if you've got anything between minus 40 to minus 50 dBm, that's excellent network. You're very close to a cell tower, to a network mast or whatever you call it. 
If you've got minus 40 to minus 50, you've got excellent network. If you've got minus 50 to minus 60, then it's very good, really good. If you've got minus 60 to minus 70, it's good. If you've got minus 70 to minus 80, then it's just okay. Your network is just okay. It's fine, you know. Minus 80 to minus 90 is poor. That's when network starts to get slow. Minus 90 to minus 110 is weak. And then anything over minus 110 on a 3G network is basically unusable. No signal. That's basically what it means. So I think you can see this on the screen. So let's move on. Let's not waste too much time. Let's move on. Let's go to 4G. If you're on the 4G network and you check, you know, you go to settings and then you check about phone and then you check phone status and then you check the SIM cards and then the one, especially the one you're using to browse and then you see these numbers there. This is what they mean on a 4G network. So please take note to check the network that you are on before, you know, like, taking these readings so if you've got a minus 50 to minus 90 signal that is excellent you're close to it yeah you're not that far around 50 around the 50 60 mark you're very close to a cell tower cell tower could probably be next door wouldn't advise that though to 90 but it's basically excellent network excellent network so anywhere from minus 90 to 105 is good network good not, not as good as what you get from minus 50 to minus 90, but it's really, it's good enough. Then anything from um, 106, minus 106 to minus 110 is fair. It's just there. But anything from minus 111 to 119 is very poor. And anything over 119 is just, it's unusable. It's a dead zone. It's no signal. Forget it. It means that you are very far away from a cell tower or from a network master and as such, the reception is not going to get to you, unfortunately. So finally, if you are on a 5G network, yeah, and you've got around 80, minus 80, usually it doesn't really go below minus 80 but if it does go below i think it maxes out at around 70 or so but if you've got around 80 around minus 80 then you're very close to cell tower that's excellent network but anything between 90 any between 80 i beg your pardon between 80 to minus 90 minus 80 to minus 90 then is good network then anything between minus 90 to minus 110 ah, it's fair to poor network depending on the network modem that you've had that you've got on your smartphone how it can take advantage of this and then anything over minus 110 on a 5g network is basically dead you can't use that so that's how these numbers are the asu is the equivalent of dbm they both mean the same thing but they are calculated differently i don't want to go into that now so as not to extend the length of this video but Signal strength is calculated in dBm, right? dBm, that's how signal strength is calculated in. And whether you're on a 3G, 4G or 5G network, you should be aspiring to get a network signal of anything between minus, um, say minus, uh, you should be around just a minus 70, minus 80 mark. That's what you should be mostly aiming for if you want to get like really, really good signal. But anything between the minus 80 mark to minus 100 mark is also okay. But anything above the minus 100 mark, uh, minus 105, uh, you know, that's when you start to push it. Yeah, you start to push the, the limits of what you call good reception. And then anything over the minus 105 mark to the minus 111 is just network that you're just managing. You're just struggling. And anything over the minus 110 mark, you can assume that you no longer have network and your phone is an offline phone, not good for browsing anymore. So that's how we check for signal strength on your smartphone. Remember, settings, about phone, details, phone status, depending on your phone, but just check around your settings, you would find it. It's usually there, so long as it's an Android device. For iPhones, that ability to be able to check those for, for your signal has been removed. I don't know. So you're going to have to I don't know, like maybe use an Android phone in the vicinity to, you know, like gauge how good network reception is and all that, depending on you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to offer you the information. Whatever you choose to do with it is your own choice, I guess. So yeah, that's how to check for signal strength on your smartphone without resorting to hearsay or, you know, 
subjective views or opinions and all that so yeah with that we've come to the end of another very very informative video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you test it out and please if you check the network signal in your so how about we do something like this if you check the network signal strength in your area how about you leave it in the comments i'm going to put mine in the comments too so my network isn't really all that good i'm on a green network like that if you're in nigeria you know what i mean when i say on a green network like that i know it's not the other green network that is dying slowly it's the main green network <laughs> you get what i mean yeah so just leave your signal strength there and then we'll see who's got a good one and who's not so good so yeah as always thank you very much for coming please make sure to like subscribe and share it's stuff like this that helps more channels like mine grow thank you very much for coming thank you very much for watching my videos and i guess i'll see you in the next one bye bye